Hello, a video on how to connect your MTurk uh, account to um, a Qualtrics survey. I'm gonna do it uh, pretty detailed. So let's start. All right, so this is the mturk.com uh, website, and you can see that you can have two uh, major uh, sections the get results one and the make money one. Of course, for us, uh, the relevant one will be the get results. So press on get started on the get results. Now I've been I have been um, connected already. You can see on the top um, bar. Um, but after you register, you can see whatever what I'm seeing here. And now you press on create. Now you can see I have one um, investment um, academic survey that I have created. You could press on new project if you want, or new batch from existing project. But I guess in your say in your um, <coughs> that for you it will be a new project I pressed on it and now you press on survey link because we're having a survey link from Qualtrics pressed on it and now we can create project all right now you get you give your survey your name your title your description keywords I think it should be um, quite appealing because this is what people would see when they're trying to look for surveys to answer so I wrote stuff like interesting, which uh, will um, attract people, I think. Now, um, you can decide how much reward you're going to give. I gave um, a third of a dollar for an assignment, a survey of about five minutes, and a lot of people went in. So I think this is a good price. You can uh, even give a lower price, I think. Um, now, this is interesting. It took me a lot of time to understand that. The number of assignments per hit means how many people do I want to um, enter to my survey, which means if I want to limit my survey to 20 people, I would put it on 20. If I want to limit my survey to 18 people, I would put it on 18. Um, now the allocated time per assignment means how much time will it take to do it. Usually it's quite short for, for me, like let's say five, five minutes. Um, and hit expires in which means um, how much time will my hit will be online and available and the auto approve is how many days will I have to uh, approve um, the hits people people assigned so I should give it enough time for me to um, check their surveys and see that they didn't just like logged out or close the window or something so only then I can approve their manual, approve their money uh, to their account. Um, okay. And work requirements, <coughs> which is quite important. You can add, um, um, use it for masters, which means a user who are um, have a lot of experience, they would require mo more money. Usually I press on no. But I add in other uh, criteria. Usually I do it to uh, locations. I use it for usually for European countries or America. Um, and I can add another one. Usually I add a uh, number of hits approved. And I put it on greater than 50. I think this is a good, good balance between uh, the amount of money I would have to pay for them to enter and uh, to have people who are actually doing my surveys and not just pressing next, 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 next. All right. And the rest is just like very, very, you can uh, read yourself and understand. Now let's design. You can see the design here. You can design your survey. And um, here also I always add um, a line saying like, please um, take this survey seriously don't press next next or whatever it's very important and you need to put your survey link over here um, you just delete the template the one you have here and press like and copy and paste the um, paste your survey link um, from Qualtrics and write whatever you want and now we press on preview <coughs> you can see you can see the stuff you can like an overview of everything if I put this again, there was a little problem because I didn't, I left areas blank. 
let's press on preview and I will see the survey and I can press on finish and proceed with um, publishing so let's go to the ones I have already actually let's do this on this one all right you can see this one yeah now I can press on publish batch and press next and you can see an overview of everything you can see how much money will I need for this because I have 18 people and I gave um, half a dollar each and I would need this or that amount of money and then I press on publish hits now the thing is that many times what happens is that after you publish you'll get stuff like that I'll show you this one you see pending review it's stuck on pending review very annoying uh, it took me time to understand to figure this one out you just need to go into inside the results you see this one and then press on approve all although there is no one inside already there is no data already but still you need to press on improve all yes and only then when I go back to my survey instead of pending review you can see it is reviewed now it's running you see so I'll show you one that is running right now this one is in progress you can see that 22 percent submitted um, and uh, that's it uh, it's quite easy um, it took me some time to time to understand the number of assignments per hit I didn't understand that part which means the number of people um, and that's it it's quite easy um, and thank you